Greetings ASA members. Today we're going to start with some opportunities for professional development available from some of our partner organizations. The Arizona Educational Foundation is into the time of the season when they judge and award A plus schools. You have an opportunity to be a site visitor and be a part of that process for judging A plus schools. I've got a link in this message where you can sign up and be a part of that day and a half judging process for Arizona's next A plus schools. Now let's move on to ASTE, the Arizona Technology Education Association. They're sponsoring a conference at the Dysert Administrative Office, which combines IT administrators with curriculum and instruction administrators. And how they can seamlessly work together to use technology to offer students more educational opportunities. Now let's move on to CASE. That's the Council of Administrators of Special Education and they have a conference February 26th and 27th at the Black Canyon Center and one of the titles of this conference is Happy Kids Don't Punch You in the Face, which I've got to admit it's true and I've got to admit also I've had a few close encounters of the special kind in my career. Finally, let's talk about the census. As you know, Census Day itself is April 1st, 2020. April Fool's Day is Census Day? Don't count on it. Anyway, the census is having a Statistics in Schools SIS Information Week March 2nd through 6th to publicize the census. I've included some information about that in links with this message. It's critical that we count all of our kids for Arizona's future federal benefits. And there's a good chance if Arizona's population comes in accurately that Arizona will add a person in the House of Representatives while other states will lose some. California, for example, is likely to lose a representative. So all those Californians moving to Arizona will have the effect of adding a representative in Arizona and losing one in California. So we've been talking about opportunities for training for our administrators and our teachers. That brings us to perhaps the critical problem in Arizona education today, and that's the teacher shortage. And a critical component of that teacher shortage, of course, is to diminish the shortages we have in our school by keeping the teachers we've already hired. And an important part of that is communicating with them. There's a recent survey in Ed Week. Every year they do this survey with educators throughout the country to see what are teachers thinking. Good administrators, and we feel we're good administrators should know what their teachers think. Often we do think we know that and then we find out that no, they're thinking some completely different thing. And if we're not on the same page, they might not even want to be in the same school. So I'm going to show you a couple of uh, graphics and, and discuss a couple of ways in which this survey illustrates a gap in what teachers think and what administrators think. So let's talk about technology in the classroom. We were just talking about an Arizona Technology Conference. For example, administrators are convinced that technology is really a big part of the future of education. Teachers sometimes seem a little less certain. Part of that survey was, do, do you worry about how much screen time students have in classrooms now. Administrators, 49% of them said they worry a little bit. Teachers, 72% said they're deeply worried about it. So almost three quarters of the teachers are worried about it, where half the administrators. So there's a little disconnect there. What do teachers think about their jobs overall? 
Well, 58% of teachers said, this is nationwide, said they would strike for higher funding for students' supplies and materials. Not for themselves and their pay. 55% of them said they would strike for higher pay, but even more said they would strike for better funding for education. What would the public think of that? The same survey surveyed a large percentage of parents. 84% of the parents said they would absolutely support the teachers, even to their own discomfort, knowing that, yes, their kids would be at home. 84% would support that. Okay, where's another cause of, of friction between administrators and teachers? Classroom discipline. So, same survey asked, is classroom discipline a source of friction between you and the teachers? The principals, 24% says, yes, it's a problem. The teachers, 52% said that. A quarter of the principals thought it was an issue, half the teachers thought it was an issue. Furthermore, and this is a statistic that will be useful this year because we have a bill in the legislature that wants to change the Arizona discipline system. What do teachers think of out of school suspension? 50 to 80 percent said out of school suspensions are useful for sending messages to parents that there's a problem and for removing disruptive students from the classroom so others can learn. 50 to 80% of the teachers strongly agreed or agreed. However, those same teachers feel a little ambivalent because they're also, that same number, 50 to 80% agreed or strongly agreed that they worried about it harmed the learning of those students when they weren't in the classroom. And a large percentage of them also said it's not a deterrent to that student's future disruptive behavior. That yes, it's a punishment, but when they come back, does it stop them from behaving the same way again? No, they did not see OSS as a deterrent. Finally, one other, what to me was a really surprising statistical anomaly uh, uh, showing teachers and principals aren't always on the same page. Here was the statement, agree or disagree. Teachers feel empowered to bring problems to the principal. So, principal said, 69% of principals said, yes, my teachers feel empowered to bring their problems to me. The teachers in the survey, 24% said, we feel empowered to bring problems to our principals. Two thirds of the principals said yes, one quarter of the teachers. That's not a gap, that's a gulf. So better communication is needed to build a bridge over those troubled waters where teacher retention and recruitment will continue to be the problem that's bedeviling Arizona's education system. Here's a few of the opportunities you'll see on the screen for ASA's upcoming conferences.